All right, guys. Welcome to part four of the uh, Orca Super Cube build. So I'm pretty much ready to start running this thing. Just want to show you the Z axis. So part four, part four, it's going to be the Z. Um, show you how I designed it and what I was thinking. Um, so right now it's running two Z motors. So in theory, I, because it's two Z motors connected to two individual drivers, in theory I should be able to tram it like this if I want to. I don't know if that's even necessary, but um, so I'm running an 8 millimeter chrome bar. I can't remember where I got this from. It didn't come off the last printer, but um, probably because I mean, I've been 3D printing for a long time. So I think originally the printers actually had the chrome, or at least one of the ones I built a long time ago. So that's 8 millimeter uh, chrome bar, and I got these uh, 10 millimeter bolt pulleys, 8 millimeter. Put links down below when I'm done with this project. And this is actually a bearing block. So there's a I think it's called like a 608 bearing. So inside this little housing right there, see right there, you can screw in like a bearing plate. So the bearing's actually inside there. So it's basically a skateboard ball bearing. And two motors. So right now I'm running SKR Pico, but I made a video about the monster board I got. So eventually what I might do, I might or might not do, because this might be totally perfect. Um, is go quad motor, you know, redesign the gantry so I can just, you know, tram it all di all directions. But I don't know if that's even necessary though, because I, I designed some tramming tools that get the bed dialed in pretty good. So um, it doesn't. Like I said, this is you can make this printer however you want. It's not really, you know, you just base it do it on to the side of your bed. So these things actually move back and forth, and the idea is to align it with the screw holes on your bed here. So you just move these legs wherever you want your bed. Um, so mine's a little bit further forward because obviously this thing goes back. Um, actually, the motor's racking right now. But so I wanted to get as much travel as I could possibly get out of this bed. I think this bed is like um, two two ninety by like two forty. Because originally it was a swivel bed. I'm not going to be able to get all the thing in in um, X. I think I'm, I'm going to be probably less, about 20 millimeter. But I wanted it long in this direction because I wanted to keep weight down for speed in this direction, in the X direction. So I wanted to keep this, that's why it's, the bed is full, tilted this way. So originally the Solvel had it the other way. So, so right now I'm still running the stock motors. Uh, even though I do actually have some Sanyo Denki Japanese steppers I might try. Um, Okay, so all right. So what else? Oh yeah, these are the uh, belt uh, adjusters right here. So um, yeah, there's like a little there's a little belt latches in there. So they connect here, and then these are like little M3 adjusters. So you can tighten, put but you can adjust the belt tension here. Um, so right now this thing has been pretty good. Um, I just restarted because I was doing a bed mesh. So let me show you real fast. Do a quick move. Uh, home all. So I have a custom G code. I'm actually running overrides because I need to first X X. Uh, what's funny is that bed mesh is screwing around with my uh, my custom end stops, but that's not how it work out. I guess this video is just really about the uh, the Z. So yeah, it works. It bed meshes. So I'm ready to start my own my first print. So I'm still trying to figure out what, why does that bed mesh screw with my uh, my homing overrides because I wanted to home in a certain sequence and do a certain thing you know to avoid certain things um, but mess around with my bed mesh so but I, it seems like when I save it to the config then it has issues um, alright we're not going to go into too much detail about that that's what this video is about and then you have the bed mounts so I have some springs here. These are the original springs I think I came off the printer. And they just connect to some 2020 rail to go from here to here. Pretty basic. Like I said, it wouldn't be too hard to go into uh, quad level. You know, I could just put motor here, motor here, or I could have one motor here, one motor in the back, and have these belt things held over here. I cut the cut the the rods here. But like I said, this might be perfectly flat enough and Whatever, so 
All right, so in part five, the final video, I will do some testing and um, you know, upload it to Thingiverse. So, and then once I um, you know get it all tested, then I'm gonna go uh, balls to the wall speed. All right, cool.